Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at a member from one of QNAP's latest NAS families, the TS-253A. Dubbed as an Internet of Things centric NAS, it's actually more than just a network attached storage device. Rather, I consider the TS-253A to be a mini server. By supporting the open source Linux platform, it allows users to directly utilize various feature rich Linux apps. Not only that, but through the use of dual HDMI outputs, users can switch between the Linux desktop and QNAP's media focused HD station. The HDMI outputs also allow for the use of dual monitors and can be configured to display either a cloned or extended desktop. The HD station supports a range of feature rich apps such as Kodi HD Player, Plex Home Theatre, YouTube, Spotify, JRiver, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and more. Helping to make the TS-253A feel more like a dedicated multimedia player is the bundled QNAT remote control which communicates with the device using infrared. Along with the powerful app support, hardware decoding is supported at resolutions up to 4K. 4K video transcoding is also supported, allowing users to convert videos to universal formats that can be smoothly played on PCs, mobile devices and smart TVs. This feature is also offered offline as well using a pre-rendered lower resolution video. These features have all been integrated into the latest QTS 4.2 operating system, which we'll take a quick look at shortly. Before we do that, let's check out the TS-253A unit to see what's what. From the front, we have what I've described as an industrial looking device that probably looks more at home in a data centre than your living room. I think it's the removable 3.5 inch hot swappable drive bays mainly that give this impression. All of the connectivity, buttons and indicators are located in a black gloss strip that runs along the left hand side of the device. Here we have a USB 3 port which provides convenient access for external storage devices. Making this port even more convenient is the quick copy button, which, when configured using the QTS software, can dump all the files from external storage into a designated folder. Above the quick copy button, we have the power button, followed by a few LED status lights indicating network activity as well as individual drive activity. The brightness of all these LEDs can be adjusted too using the QTS software. Around the back we find three USB 3 ports, taking the grand total for the device to four, and above that are the two HDMI outputs which can be used simultaneously. Interestingly we find a line out jack, along with dual 6.3mm microphone jacks for dynamic microphones only. Finally we find not one, but two gigabit ethernet ports along with a 70mm cooling fan. Now that we've taken a tour around the TS-253A, what can you expect to find inside powering the whole operation? At its heart is the Intel Sauron N3150 quad-core system on chip, running at clock speeds between 1.6GHz and 2.08GHz depending on how CPU intensive the task is. Coupled with 4GB of memory, this quad-core system is ready to handle some pretty serious multitasking. For those interested, the memory is upgradable and QNAP does sell an 8GB version, though it isn't very cost effective. The type of memory used is DDR3 low voltage running at 1600 MHz. Setting up and configuring the TS-253A is about as easy as it gets. The setup process is intuitive and the QTS software used to configure the device is highly refined. I won't go into too much detail regarding the QTS software for this product review and in all honesty covering it in detail would call for an hour long video, there are simply so many noteworthy features. For benchmarking network attached storage products going forward, I'll be using the Intel NAS Performance Toolkit. If you haven't seen or heard of NASPT before, it's a file system exercise or an analysis tool designed to enable direct measurement of home network attached storage. This tool emulates the behavior of an actual application to provide real world workloads of typical digital applications used by home users. For testing, the TS-253A has been configured using a pair of Western Digital Red Pro 4TB hard drives in RAID 1. Basically, I test all two bay devices in RAID 1 and anything larger, such as the Synology DS415 Play using RAID 5. The performance of the TS-253A is very strong and we can see that in many of the tests it's able to max out the gigabit network connection with performance just north of 100 megabytes per second. First, let's look at the application performance. Here we have slightly mixed results, though for the most part the TS-253A is very impressive, particularly in the content creation test. Now, when looking at the file and directory copying results, we see that for the most part the TS-253A does very well, especially given it's being compared to some pretty stiff competition. The download, or from NAS performance as Intel labels it, was most impressive. 
Without question, the TS-253A is the ultimate home server slash media player. This is a very powerful product that's capable of a good many things. In fact, there really isn't much it can't do, and yet novice tech users can take full advantage of all the features. There are a few NAS devices that offer HDMI out, let alone dual display support, so it's a very cool feature indeed, and it's what allows this to be a genuine home theater PC replacement. QNAP's feature-rich QTS operating system looks great, is easy to use, and it's also very responsive. The addition of the hybrid desktop station is awesome, but I have to admit I've only started to scratch the surface with what's possible here. The software, along with the TS-253A's hardware, was able to handle any video file we threw at it. The only real issue here being that we're limited to just 30Hz at 4K due to the HDMI 1.4a support. As you might expect, all this greatness comes at a price, and a rather large one at that. The two bay model that we looked at cost $500 US or 670 Australian in discless form. This does in my opinion make the larger 4 bay model a much better buy at $600 US or 760 AUD. Overall, the QNAP TS-253A is honestly the most capable and complete home user NAS I've ever come across, and I have no trouble recommending it to anyone that can afford it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time.